All right, and welcome back, everyone. Farmer Cop here. This is episode 17 of Silver Run Forest. So I just grabbed a load of iron here, which we actually might have another load there. So um, again, we'll haul this down um, the mountain. So I can't remember again what we originally originally articulated for our price. Um, so I'm going to do three thousand dollars per load. I think that's what we did before. So. Uh, we get paid three grand per load that we haul. Um, I think that actually might be a touch higher, but I think that's pretty reasonable. So uh, we'll haul that down. I did also do some forestry off camera. It's still the same day as when we had episode 16. Um, so I did a little bit since then, uh, but not a lot. I cut down a few more trees. It's been easier getting trees done because, well, where we're at, um, yeah, it's just easier to do them because there's uh, it's just flatter. So that's been nice. So I have a... Uh, I have like a half load of trees loaded up right now, which is nice. So that's all that's all fine and dandy and good. But uh, yeah, we'll try to get this rock and rolling here. We actually might take a little shortcut. Normally I will have auto drive kind of do some of it for me so I can get some of the cinematic shots and stuff like that. But I actually think it'll be faster to take this route here. Um, yeah, this should be a faster route. So and this will take us up on the backside of Richard's shop. And we probably should get some fuel for this guy as well. Um, while we're over in town since this guy's running a little low as well but um, yeah so uh, we're getting stuff done again I did mention that Silver Run Forest will be going another five to ten episodes or so um, so I think that's probably a good a good place for it to go um, we'll see though so again I'm pre-recording probably probably three or four episodes uh, total from 16 so probably 16 17 18 and 19 will all be pre-recorded before I head off to farm con so that's the goal right now also do some no man's land episodes and everything like that so that's kind of the plan, but we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, perfect. We made it up there. Ooh, that was that was a tough corner. That was a tough corner. But at least we didn't have any issues getting up and down the hill there. So we'll back it up here a second. There we go. And start heading this way. So there you go. Um, we'll get this done offloaded, maybe, if we can actually get going here. But yeah, so our goal today, keep doing forestry, keep rocking along, keep rocking and rolling. Um, we'll probably do like a load a day. We might plant some trees for Richard at some point. Um, I do still want to own our own forestry operation if we can. I think that is kind of our goal. Um, we did buy some land. Did we buy some land? No, we didn't. We were looking into land land. That's right. Um, yeah, we were looking into it. No, maybe we did. We did buy plot 32, didn't we? That's our farm, isn't it? No, other. Okay, we don't have any land. Okay. Yep, it's, pro it's partially problematic because we're under the same... Um, I might edit that actually and do just, uh, I don't know, one that's not being used. Let's do that one. Yeah, we're not using that one. So it's just a little bit easier to tell um, on the map and which stuff is ours as well. So we don't own any land, but we could potentially buy a plot out here. Um, oh, some of those are really expensive right now. But we might keep, keep an eye out for some land so we can buy some land and do our own forestry because we'll obviously make a little bit of money off it or make our own money off of it. Um, and make better money by obviously getting 100% of the profit from our forestry. So I think that'll be good. Um, I actually don't even remember right now what the best tree was to plant, but if we can get some trees planted on our plots, um, even if we, obviously we still have a contract with Richard, we could do our own stuff, but uh, per our contract, we're supposed to do about a load a day, if we can. So we've already done our load for today, and we'll almost have our load ready for tomorrow. So if we can get uh, keep up with that contract with Richard, where he gives us a little bit extra, but we have to do a load of uh, forestry for him every day. Um, and so get some of our own stuff rock and roll, and I think that'll give us the money to be able to uh, get our own forestry empire. Sorry, I'm trying to pass this car, but it's not going very well. Uh, but anyhow, we're at the iron iron place here, the iron smelter. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the plan. we got a lot of stuff going on, but uh, yep, we made it here so we can give ourselves our $3,000 payment for getting that delivered. Uh, but there we go. So I'm going to keep working on some stuff off camera. I'll probably bring you guys back in tomorrow morning. Um, and then we'll probably start off tomorrow morning selling off a load of logs. So I'll see you guys then. All right. So it is the next day on here. A couple things have happened. Um, well, for starters, we go outside here. It has snowed, of course, because it's February. So that's just the way it went. Um, I got a little more logging done but not a lot because our wheel loader would not really work in the snow so we're actually probably gonna have to wait for some of it to melt till we can actually get some stuff done which is a problem because i see snow in the forecast as well 
Um, however, I think what we will do is maybe go take a look at a couple plots of land that we might want to buy. So we might do that today, check out some prices and stuff like that. Um, the other thing is I did take this thing to get a little bit of a tune-up for it. Um, and uh, you can see the damage is 34% again. Um, and I refueled it because I did need that. And I also hauled a second load of metal, so we got an extra three grand from that, which was nice. Um, but yeah, so let's take a minute, let's take a look here. Um, at some different chunks of land and I know that they will sell this if we wanted to buy that one as well um, So we could do that, but uh, These little plots over here are so extra expensive right now Which is not ideal that one's 12% off, but that's an expensive plot of land um, Somehow we can afford that. I don't know what we do with it, but we can afford it um, That one's 83% more. That one's crazy there. Yeah, so there's Quite a few like good plots, I think, to start with. Oh, I was hoping that would be a shorter plot there. Um, but I think, unfortunately, right now, a lot of them are a little too expensive for us. So I might have to just hold out here in the winter for a little bit and hope that uh, when the weather gets nicer, that the plot... Oh, that's one we could afford up there. That actually might not be... We should go look at that one. I know that one's a little expensive, but it is 12% off right now, and that would give us a lot of trees to do. And it's right next to the sawmill. So that might be a good one. So we might drive up over there and take a look at that. Um, yeah, we might actually do that. We might hop up here to our truck and go take a look at that. So, um, yeah, I'm actually I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go up to our truck and um, get in it. And uh, I'll drive over there and I'll see you guys there in just a second. So I think we should go take a look at that plot at least to see um, how it's looking over there. So I'll see you guys here in just a second. All right, and we're actually going to stop here and get fuel real quick just because I'm thinking about it. Um, this thing burns through fuel like crazy. This doesn't have a very big tank and it burns a lot of fuel. Um, I can't wait till we get rid of this truck. But anyhow, okay, <laughs> as we keep going here, uh, just something that works a little better. It's just across, it should be just across the way here. Yeah, so it should start in this area. If we pull over, we look at the map here. So it should be, yeah, just this whole area right along here. Basically, yeah, right along this stream. And then just cuts over there. So this is actually a really good chunk here. That's a lot of land, too. Um, and this one's, I made sure this one was listed now. It still looks pricey. But now, again, these two, I mean, even being a little bit pricier, $28,000 is a lot cheaper than potentially getting this. It's 10% off. Let's see here. Yeah, these things are still pretty pricey and they're all overpriced right now. They're all marked up pretty good. That one's, that would be a really good. Well, I don't know, actually a real good chunk is the way to put that one. That one actually might be a little rough. You could also buy a field, do some farming. <laughs> uh, that kind of defeats our purposes on here, but we could do it. Selling 70% more and it's 16 grand. So that means that's a super cheap chunk of land normally. Um, but yeah, it would be great to start kind of over here um, but I think if we can afford this, this one will, this will last us a while and it's 12% off, which is great. That means it's normally like 90 something thousand. Uh, but yeah, let's just kind of scope it out here. So just along the stream, all these trees would be easy to get. Easy peasy. There's quite a few trees through here as well. Streams right over there. A lot of streams through here. Now, the sequoias should actually get us a little bit of money. We just have to chop them down by hand. They actually, I think, updated that after I did my tree test. Uh, it seems like you actually make decent money from them now. It's not amazing, but it is decent. So we should be able to make some money from them as well. Um, there's the pond there. So actually, this, this jungle land isn't huge, but we will definitely make that money back doing some forestry on here. And I actually, what I like about it is it's fairly flat, is we could come up here and actually plant oh and that's the edge of the map okay so we have to be careful there so it looks like we have more than we actually do probably so all this through here so i think this would actually work out pretty good for us um the concern for me is there's actually not a ton of trees up here but it is a really flat chunk of land so it'd be easier to clear this i think than most places because most of this is pretty flat um compared to the rest of the map so oh man it is expensive it is expensive. That would clear us out pretty good. Um, $83,000. We only have 89000 at the bank. I think we just... Worst case scenario is we can always sell it back. Let's just go ahead and buy it. Um, I think that'll 
that'll help us out there. So um, there we go. We own land, which I actually was not even really planning on doing this episode. The problem, of course, is we still need to work for Richard for this year and get loads done for him. But we now have a chunk of land that we can rely on to come out and do our own stuff. So I'm hoping we can make the money off of Richard doing our forestry for him. Um, and yeah, I'm hoping we can do that. So we have to do, um, and I did say, I did, I did think I said in the last episode, we need to do one load every day. We just need to do one load every month for him. So um, we technically, the load we have mostly loaded up for February, because we're, we're probably not gonna be able to do anything more right now, just because I think the, the snow on the ground does make it difficult using his equipment. So. Um, that is one thing we have to be careful of, um, and we do are we are going to have to use our obviously our own equipment to do our own forestry, or we're going to have to rent it or lease it or whatever the case may be, and that's obviously going to be fairly expensive um, getting going, and we're probably going to have to start out doing that because I doubt we're going to be able to buy all new equipment or get all new stuff. Um, obviously, I'll keep an eye out for sales in the shop if we can get some stuff to kind of help us out a little bit there, but. Uh, yeah, but for now, I think I'm going to actually probably just kind of wait the day out because I can't um, do a whole lot. I actually, I should be able to go up and cut some trees down. I just can't load them. So I should actually be able to get a couple piles of trees probably set up up there so we can just kind of do some load and go for the next couple of days. Um, I will talk to Richard and see if we can work our contract off early. And what I mean by that is, well, we have X amount of months left. Can we just uh, get that many loads done and call it good? Um, I know we're allowed to do more loads if we want to, but I'll talk to him and see if we can't work it off early. And um, He's always been really cool with us, so I think that'll probably be fine, but we'll talk to him about that. But uh, yeah, so anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and I will probably just see you guys next time we're going to take a load into town of wood, um, and we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, it is morning again, and I haven't looked outside. Is there still snow? There is still snow. Well... At least it should be hopefully melting here soon because it is March 1st. So I'm hoping today it melts. I'm hoping today it melts. Uh, it's pretty deep out here actually. But uh, yeah, so uh, we'll just actually just hop up here real quick. It'll just be a little easier than us walking around up there to save you guys the time. Um, so I forgot to turn it off yesterday, but I did do a lot of forestry and I actually went around with our stump grinder or not our stump grinder, their stump grinder. And I cleared out a lot of the stumps up around there and I cleared out well, not all the fresh ones I just did, but I did go through and clear out quite a few stumps. So we still obviously have some dotted around, but they are pretty hard to find in the snow, we'll say that. So I figured that was something I can do, and I got, well, I got a lot of logs. This is probably, this is definitely enough to, um, okay, I thought I'd super, every time the hand goes on, I think I had super strength on. I was like, I didn't turn it on, but no, it's off. Okay, this one I can lift, though, because it's a small piece, probably. Yeah, that one I can lift. But anyhow, so we have quite a few pieces here. It'd be definitely enough to fill that up, and probably this is, Probably another trailer full as well uh, which is great and i did talk to richard richard has no issues with us getting out of our contract um early if we go ahead and deliver the loads that he wants us to deliver because he says that's all he can expect from us he said he would prefer if we uh kept working for him longer and doing more loads because he makes obviously money off of us and doing that and he's enjoyed working with us but he does understand that that's what we came out here to do because we did we we're very straightforward with him so we need nine more total loads and that includes the load we have loaded up here full loads that is this one isn't quite full i want it to be a little bit higher than that for sure uh so nine full loads and then we are out of that contract if we need to be so um that is all good there but yeah that is what we got going on here our we got property things are going good for us um i did check uh sales there wasn't anything there actually was they did have one of um if i go down to forestry here they did have one of these on sale but i don't I just don't think we're going to use it because it's not going to work super well for us, I don't think. So, um, yeah, but we could take, let's take a look here, actually. I am curious. The cheapest forestry harvester is obviously this guy right here, but this one really isn't ideal. Um, the cheapest one that's ideal is like this guy here. Um, yeah, that guy there. 65, 71, 6... That's not a huge difference. We'll probably honestly start with this guy, uh, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, and then leasing this. Well, right, I know I don't have enough money. Well, that's not good if we only have six grand. That's uh, I'm, I'm curious. Let's just switch over to, we're just gonna switch to Richard's account real quick, just so I can take a look at it. And I know I'm playing DJ Goham's house still, so it just shows his name in there. So you can ignore that. That's, that's why that is the way it is. Um, now, 
my forestry test, when I did a test, there was, I can't remember the tree type now, but um, there was a specific tree that we made more money off of when I did a forestry test. If you haven't checked out that video, it's a great video. It shows you how much you make from each tree that you can harvest, including the platinum expansion trees. Um, so this guy, the least this, and well, where I was going with that, safety from, we don't need that. We can be unsafe. Um, okay, $19,000 to start. The hourly, I'm not worried about, because that's, that's fine. Um, per workday is the big deal here. Thirty-seven fifty every day, so that's a big deal for us. So I think that's going to end up being seven grand a month. So seven thousand dollars a month to have this guy uh, out out there um, versus this guy. Okay, about eighty-five hundred and eight, almost nine thousand a month. So a couple thousand more, a little bit more per hour. Uh, so we could get this guy as well if we wanted to, because honestly the difference between those two is not, I mean, the difference between these two, well, that one only does 64 centimeters. Um, I think, how come that one does bigger, bigger than this guy? 70 centimeters. That one just weighs a little bit more. That one does, of course, is 80 centimeters. And that one does 120, because that one does massive trees. But this one still won't do the sequoias. I've tested it. It won't do the sequoias, which is kind of interesting. So those you just have to do by hand uh, with a chainsaw, which kind of stinks, but that is what it is. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to look at my test video. I'm going to make sure this guy... So basically, the two things I want to make sure here, I want to make sure that we can plant some trees, because I think next episode we're probably going to do that. I think we should plant some of our own trees. I know we already have... We have trees up there that need to be cut and everything like that. What we could do potentially is... Well, no, I don't think we do that. So we could potentially cut down some of the sequoias. But I think what we do is we go up there and we plant. Um, maybe we rent like a tractor or something and do. I mean, it is better if we rent this guy and use the special tree planter. But I think it's going to be way more expensive to rent this and that comparatively. So, um, yeah, what I think we just need to do is we need to plant a bunch of the most profitable trees that are going to be over there so we can have those grow through this year while we're still working on Richard's contract. Um, that way they're they're starting to save some time. And then while we're still waiting for those to finish up and grow, we will cut all the trees around them and all the other ones up on that plot. And I think that'll be a good way for us to make money. Because the reason I like that plot a lot, the plot that we bought up here, if we go up here, the map here, the reason I like this plot is because like this, it's flat. It's pretty flat. So it's a great spot to plant stuff and get all that stuff done and all that. So it's just good to go in terms of that, which I really like. Um, but yeah, we've made some progress today. This episode's not gonna be as long, I think, as normal episode would be, but I think this is a good stopping point for us on here. Um, so I think I am gonna call it an episode here. So I think, and I'm gonna make sure I transfer back to my actual farm over here, join farm, there we go. And we are still paying a leasing fee on our belts that we have um, up here at the, uh, at Johnson Mine. So we do have those that we're paying for, but that's fine. But yeah, I think this will be a good stopping point for us. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel and turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos that I may post. This has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and for watching.